Hey guys, this is Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have a new Beauty Bay palette to test. So this is the New Romantic palette and it is their Valentine's collection, I believe. It retails for £15 and they also have a uh, liquid crystal eyeshadow trio, so three liquid eyeshadows. And they retail for £6 each or you can buy the trio for £15 as well. I'm really happy that Beauty Bay is sticking to this kind of uh, design and like formula lot of palettes because I really did enjoy my magic book palette which is discontinued unfortunately I really can't believe that they they really just took my girl out like she really <laughs> I really, really hope that they don't become one of those brands that release just limited edition stuff. It's like, I really hope the palettes stick around because when you find a gem that you absolutely love, now that it's discontinued, I can't use it on my channel anymore because it's like, you guys can't get it if you wanted it. So yeah, this is what the box looks like. And here is the back of the box. And then once you take it out of the box, this is the palette on the inside. And these are the shades absolutely beautiful red pinky purple type of palette perfect for valentine's day very deep skin friendly palette as well it looks like it will suit so many different skin tones which i love that they haven't just gone for a dusty rose pale palette they've included deeper tones like uh, i just i love it so inside the liquid eyeshadow trio you get these three shades here so one of them is actually a multi-chrome a pink to gold multi-chrome God. and then the other two are like glittery liquid eyeshadows i'm gonna go ahead and swatch them all for you so here we have the liquid eyeshadows so this one over here is the multi-chrome and it's called morganite and it's a pink to gold shift i don't see the gold picking up on camera but in real life it does have a gold shift and then the other two shades i cannot pronounce but this one is like a cranberry red with glitter and this one is like a dark purpley brown with glitter as well out of all of them i definitely feel like the multi-chrome morganite is the most kind of unique and it reminds me of one of the natasha denona liquid eyeshadows so it says inside you'll find 20 shades in all the warm berry blossom tones you could possibly need each silky soft shadow buffs and blends seamlessly onto the lid whilst our iconic matte and shimmer formulas have intense color payoff that lasts all day long you're about to fall in love with your latest obsession yeah let's go ahead and do two looks you guys know when i'm testing a palette i like to do two different eye looks so that we can test a variety of colors oh yeah they did actually send me an extra package by accident i think so i'm gonna give it away to you guys if you do want to win the palette and the liquid trio eyeshadow then definitely like this video be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below make sure you leave your instagram or your email address in your comments so that i can contact you if you win and yeah it is open internationally as well let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna prime my eyes with my p louise eye eyeshadow base okay so the first shade i'm gonna take is the shade claret which is this gorgeous burgundy berry color in the middle so oh look at the pigment this is gonna go in the outer v you know there's just some brands that you just don't expect anything other than the best and beauty bay is becoming one of those brands for me like look at this pigmentation so i'm literally just gonna kind of diffuse or tap over the edges so it will blend into the next shade perfectly. I think I might also carry this shade towards the inner corner, all through the crease. The sun is starting to come out. Why is it whenever I'm filming, the sun wants to join us? So to blend that out, I think I'm gonna go for the shade Flamingo, which is this dusty pink here. And I'm literally gonna use that on the edges of the first one to just diffuse it. If you wanted to, you could have started with this shade and then built on top of it with the darker one, but I like to start with the darker shade. I really love the fact that they have a black in this palette as well and a really deep dark brown if you wanted to deepen the outer V. Oh, should I do a halo eye? So I'm gonna take the smallest dab of the black, which looks very pink. Ooh. Oh my gosh, the pigment. I took the smallest dab. I'm sorry, but that black is absolutely insanely pigmented. Be very careful with that colour because I took the smallest dab and it just done a madness. <laughs> How beautiful is that? They've melted into each other so well. So now I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Glue to prime for the shimmer. I always like to do this with every palette that I use just so that it brings out the micro glitters in the shimmer and kind of make sure that I don't get any fallout either because it grips really well to the shimmer. 
I'm leaning towards this one up here, this cool tone one. Let's try it. It's called Chintz and I'm gonna carry that straight down the center because I might go on the edges with something different. Wow. Are you guys seeing this? Like what? And then I think on the edges of that, I'm gonna go in with Raspberry, which is this kind of pinky red. And I'm gonna put that right in between the black and the silver. Then I'm gonna dip into a little bit of the black and just tap that into the shimmer. Colour it again to blend out that black. Just going back and forth between all of the colours till I'm happy with how it looks. Okay, so this is how we are looking. Absolutely beautiful halo eye. I feel like the shades have performed really well, blended really well. I have nothing to complain about at all. Let's go ahead and move on to this eye. I wanna keep this one a little bit more simple, but still pinky and romantic, if you know what I mean. So, so this one, I think I'm gonna start with Mars, which is this gorgeous warm tone terracotta. That has applied really, really well. I might not be able to talk that much during this eye because my neighbors, everyone's birds drilling, cutting the grass, like there's a lot going on outside right now. And I'm gonna take a little bit of smoothie, which is this kind of mauvey pink over here and kind of carry that on the inner corner, but also on the crease, of, in the crease as well. And in with a little bit of birthday, which is the lightest pink in here. Right up by the brow bone to diffuse everything. Gonna dip into a little bit more of Mars, which was that first dark terracotta I took and just re-intensify that in the crease. This shade does apply dark enough if you did just wanna go in with this shade. You don't have to add the black or the dark cool tone brown. So I'm actually gonna take a tiny bit of saddle just because I wanna see how dark this comes out. Just like the black, I'm gonna take the smallest amount right on the outer V. So this actually comes out like a black. Yeah, on the eyes, it's so dark that it just comes out like a black eyeshadow. Do you guys see that? See, I would have preferred a dark matte purple to this just because it does look like a black and we do already have a black in the palette so a dark matte purple would have just complemented all of these tones really well that's all i'm going to do for the crease now i'm going to take my nyx glitter glue i think with this side i'm going to do two shimmers again like one in the center and then one towards the inner corner so i actually really want to try this royal shade which is this purple color here so this is not one of their soft putty shimmers this is like a normal shimmer if that makes any sense and this i'm going to put in the center of the eye oh that is such a beautiful shade it's like a purple, but it has a pink undertone. And then on the inner corner, I think I'm gonna take this gorgeous greeny gold that would look beautiful. I think I'm gonna take khaki, which is the gold that has green, well, green that has gold undertones or gold that has green undertones, this one here. I'm gonna put this on the inner half of the eye. Ooh, take a little bit more of royal and just blend that into the green gold. How beautiful is that? I love that color. I'm gonna complete the rest of my face with my Project Pan item. Should I do it on camera? Yeah, why not? We're here, let's go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna take my Too Faced Born This Way concealer underneath my eyes. Quick project pan update. We're doing really well with the skincare. I feel like when it comes to the base products or like the makeup products, I keep gravitating towards this concealer because I know it's the most full, if you know what I mean. The rest of them can be finished or are nearly empty. But this is one of the largest concealers I have because it literally has 15 milliliters of product in here. While I let that set down, I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty Tan Tour in medium. So this I like to apply and then I'll go back in with my foundation brush and make sure that it blends and melts in. So I'll apply it like that and then I'll take my foundation brush that I used and just dab that in because it still has a little bit of foundation on it so it just melts it into the face nicely. Now I'm going to take my sponge and blend in that Too Faced concealer. My skin's been doing so well lately but then I used the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter as a foundation for the past three days 
and I just got all of these breakouts and they're quite like painful ones as well and I'm like please no I hope that's not breaking me out because I've been loving that as like a tinted moisturizer light coverage type of product but these breakouts are getting on my nerves and I'm like you weren't there before it can't be my skincare because my skincare has literally been the same every single day because of course I'm trying to project plan my skincare and then I'm going to set that with my Vichy Derma Blend powder once again with project pan I find myself using this one more than my Laura Mercier because I know that there's more to use in here so it's almost like in my head I'm trying to get them down to the same level and I'm just gonna set that concealer oh I do also have some palettes that I wanted to hold up in comparison to this Beauty Bay one just because of course pinky purple neutral color schemes are nothing new you might have something similar in your collection so I wanted to show you like side by side of some palettes that I think have similar color stories so you can decide if you need it or not then for the rest of my face my MAC mineralized skin finish in dark just to set the rest of my face let me see if I have any pinky blushes, hold on. I found this one from Lottie London, which is called Red Hot, but it looks pink to me. So I'm gonna use this. Just do a little bit of blush to go with the pinky eyes. Oh God, what have you done? <laughs> do a little bit on the nose as well. Blushing, you know, what you like me? <laughs> And then for highlight, I'm going to take the Natasha Denona Duo. This is the new Valentine's Duo that came out. And there's a gorgeous pinky gold highlighter in this palette. So I'm just going to put that on the tops of my cheek. It's a really nice highlighter. So let's go ahead and move on to the lower lash line. I'm going to start with my Makeup Obsession Tiffany Pink Pencil in the waterline. So I'm not only just putting it in the waterline, I'm also putting it along the lower lash line to prep for the eyeshadows. So on this side, I'm going to take Clarette and I'm going to put it along the lower lash line. But then of course on the inner and outer corner, I'm going to take a tiny dab of the black. So it ties in with the top. I'm trying to decide if it looks weird just having the black on the inner corner, if I should put a shimmer to brighten it up. I feel like I always put an inner corner colour, so maybe let's leave it dark. But then on this inner corner, I'm going to take the shade Oyster, which is this light gold, and I'm going to put that on the inner corner because I feel like khaki, the goldy green is not going to be bright enough here. So I wanted something a little bit lighter. Really nice. Love these eye looks. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and throw my lashes on from my brand makeup by Tammy.com in the style Ava. And then I'll come back so we can finish off with lips. So lashes are on. Let's go ahead and move on to lips. So I actually got these new lip products from NARS. And I think there's like a pinky color in here that I could use today. I haven't tried this formula before. What is it called? The Air Matte Lip Color. And this shade is called Shag. Okay, Nas, this is like the pinky color. It goes perfectly with my look. Hopefully it's the same type of color on the inside. I'm just gonna line my lips with the uh, MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. Now taking the Nas Lip Air Matte. Oh, it's darker than how it looks in the um, pot, pot, tube. But that is a nice color. Nice formula as well, really comfortable. Mmm, it's velvety soft on the lips, but it looks matte. It almost looks like a liquid lipstick, but I think it is a liquid lipstick, but it's not drying at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and compare the new Romantic palette from Beauty Bay with some other pinky purple palettes that I have. But how gorgeous this palette has performed beautifully, definitely worth the money in my opinion. Beauty Bay definitely came through with this palette. If you're not into pinky warm tone colours, of course, this palette's not for you. But if you are into the colour story in this palette, I'm here to give it my stamp of approval for quality. So yeah, this is this look. So you can kind of visualise the look and the vibe of this gorgeous halo eye. And then this is the other look, which is a lot simpler, but still very pretty, very soft and romantic. So a pinky palette that I literally got recently, I have not even used this yet, is the Natasha Denona Love palette. So this is what this one looks like. I picked palettes out of my collection that I think some of you guys might have already, because I know this is a very popular palette. So this is it compared to um, Beauty Bay's palette. Uh, I can see some similarities in terms of the pinky colours 
because Beauty Bay does have the kind of warm terracotta brown options in here as well whereas this one is definitely more pinky mauve purple this Natasha one does also have the purple matte that I was talking about that I wish this palette had but overall they are very similar and I don't think you would need both palettes in your collection but they're not identical of course so if you did have both in your collection it's totally fine go for it girl <laughs> Another palette I pulled out to compare is the ABH Norvina palette because this is a neutral pinky palette once again. This one does have more lilac-y type of shades in there and something about the Norvina palette just doesn't look as deep and dark as the Beauty Bay palette. So here are these two and the Norvina palette does have more cool tone options whereas this is definitely more of a warm tone pinky palette. So they are definitely different but you do have a little bit of crossover in terms of the pinky shades and Norvina does also have that warm terracotta brown down here that you can find in the Beauty Bay palette. And the last pinky type of palette I've pulled out is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 2 palette that quite a lot of people have as well. I feel like this one is possibly the most similar because in the Jaclyn one you do get pinky tones but you also get the burgundy tones and the warm tone browns terracottas as well. But if you do have the Morphe Jaclyn Hill do you really need this one? that's for you to decide but yeah here is the side by side in case you were interested in seeing them so those are the palettes that have like very similar vibes in my collection but I still feel like this palette is worth having if you do really love these tones it is just such a beautiful delicious color story let me know all of your thoughts down below give this video a thumbs up don't forget to comment down below if you would like to win the palette yourself along with the free liquid eyeshadows because I do have a spare one to give away and I'll catch you guys in my next one take care bye